The next acid I want to mention is the only beta-hydroxy acid, and that is salicylic. Salicylic is oil-soluble. That means that it is attracted to oils and can dig super deep into your pores until it finds it. Obviously, this is perfect if you have oily or congested skin. Another benefit to the acne-prone crowd is that it's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. It's also excellent at reducing the little bumps and spots that are associated with acne. It too is considered a superficial peel, but it definitely has a higher irritation factor than any of the acids I have previously mentioned. This acid can definitely cause a hot peppers feeling when applied to the skin, and it will also cause more larger flakes than the mandelic or the glycolic. This peel comes in three percentages. The first is our 3% mini peel. This is something that can be applied to a teen with problematic acne maybe one time per week. Some adults like to use it as a toner if they're dealing with very problematic acne. We suggest if you're doing it that way, leave it on for about five minutes and then rinse it off. And you can do that, you know, one to three times per week. This will cause very minimal, if any, flaking. Stop using it for a bit if your skin becomes too dry. Now the 15% is the place that we have most adults start with as a regular peel. So again, we're going to apply this a minimum of six times. We suggest that you do an entire peel series with this before you even think about moving up to the 25%, which is our next percentage. There is a very large jump in irritation factor between the 15 and the 25. You will definitely get more peeling with this percentage. What I love about using the 25% is using it as a spot treatment on a pimple. Just take a, a Q-tip, get a little dab, pop it on your pimple, leave it on for a few minutes and rinse. That pimple will heal quickly and be gone in a couple of days. Thank you.